Steve and Stacey, we're standing just across the street from Drake University. Drake University President Marty Martin sent an email to the student body and posted on the school's website confirming 100 cases of COVID. That was yesterday. Now, this morning, there are 193 confirmed cases of COVID amongst the Drake student body. Yeah, it's definitely scary. Drake sophomore Olivia Gernant is not alone. A little bit concerned, yeah. As of Wednesday morning, almost 200 Drake students were COVID positive. The university took action. Steps detailed in an email sent to KCCI Wednesday morning that reads in part, all pharmacy classes are being delivered remotely through the end of the week and other faculty are empowered to choose whether the remainder of classes and finals are in person or online. School officials did not stop there. According to information on the university website that was sent to students Tuesday, at least 20 of the COVID positive students are isolating at Ross Hall. Effective safety steps and dialogue some students are in line with. I think it's important to keep open communication, make sure students are quarantining and giving the professors the option to have masks or to cancel their classes and hold them online the last two weeks. Students we spoke with say last weekend is concerning, saying they believe the Drake Relay started the spike in positive tests this week. You know, I think it's kind of expected with relays and everything that we had going on here on campus recently. Um, it didn't catch me by surprise. Drake officials have a different point of view. Our contact tracing team's conversations with those students who first share their positive status with the university indicate that the initial spread of these cases took place separate from Drake Relays. Now, the university, as you mentioned earlier, announced a number of, a number of things have been canceled. Extracurricular and co-curricular events will either be postponed, moved online, or canceled all the, altogether. All, of course, due to the recent spike in COVID positive numbers on campus. Live in Des Moines, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.